And just because Boruto wanted to take his revenge on Cole, he didn't let Kawaki send him. Today's video is going to be about the Boruto Kawaki fallout and how Code plays a major role in it. A lot of explanation and big brain stuff is on its way, so don't forget to subscribe and let's begin. In the flash forward scene of episode 1, Boruto and Kawaki are against each other on the Hokage mountain and I have discussed in many of my previous videos that how can it be a battle of mindsets and ideologies. Code who has become the main antagonist of the series after Ishiki's death could be the main reason why the Kama brothers are fighting. We know that Code wants to take revenge from Boruto, Kawaki, Naruto and Sasuke and he will do anything to eliminate them no matter what. In the time skip sequence, Boruto can be seen in his mentor Sasuke's outfit and he has a scar on his right eye which is kind of weird as the Kama is supposed to heal all the wounds of the vessel upon activation. He can also be seen with a sword which is similar to Sasuke's sword and has apparently learned Kenjutsu as well. Kawaki on the other hand is planning to send Boruto to somewhere where he sent his dad and all the citizens of Konoha are missing which could mean he sent them to that place as well. I think Oda has begun the cultivation of the divine tree in the timescape and there is literally no way left for the shinobis to continue their life on the planet. That's why Kawaki decided to send them all to his new dimension. But the reason Boruto is against his strategy also explains why he went rogue and is wearing Sasuke's outfit during the fight. I think Sasuke was brutally killed by Code in front of Boruto's eyes which rose the feelings of revenge inside his heart and he decided to take on Code to avenge his sensei and save the shinobi world. Boruto could have a really keen vision and he might have even made some deal with Momoshiki to kill off Code. Well that's a bit less likely to happen but there can't be any other solid reason which is stopping Boruto to take Kawaki's side. According to future Kawaki, their chances of winning against Code is near to zero since the plantation of the divine tree has begun and all the life on their planet is now destined to end. As told by Code in chapter 62, the only way to save yourself from the havoc of the divine tree is by escaping to another dimension. But it's still unclear whether Kawaki wants to face off Code alone. That's why he's sending everyone to the new dimension or his plan is to abandon planet earth forever. There's also a possibility that Kawaki thinks that by sending everyone to the new dimension, it's the perfect time to create a new world without shinobis. Maybe in Kawaki's eyes, shinobis are nothing but tools used by higher powers for their benefit. Many people in the history of the shinobi age have lost their lives just by taking on this deadly profession where they keep their lives on stake. This realization must have made Kawaki think how good it would be if there was no shinobi system at the first place. And these unprecedented circumstances have given him a golden opportunity to resolve this historic issue that has taken the lives of so many people over hundreds of years. Boruto on the other hand is totally against Kawaki's plan and wants to restore the peace to the shinobi world without abandoning the planet. According to Boruto, the shinobi principles have always taught an individual to endure the hardship to ensure a better future. Boruto had faith in his Osusuki prowess and wanted to murder Code by his own hand so that he could avenge Sasuke's death. But Kawaki tried explaining to Boruto that it's already too late to make a move and the fact that he's still the vessel to that ambitious monster is even more worrisome. Boruto then tells Kawaki that he will be keeping his life online just to get rid of code and restore peace to this world. Both Boruto and Kawaki were right in their own way. Only if the Kama brothers could have come to a mutual agreement, maybe things could be different and better. Boruto had these feelings of vindictiveness which had a really adverse effect on his personality and the way he saw this world. While Kawaki just wanted to get rid of this suffering and in his eyes he was doing the right thing. While as code who had led to the biggest fallout in Naruto's history was just looking for ways to add fuel to the fire. Another reason which forced Kawaki to take this extreme step was because Code had his power limiter removed by Amado and after getting this work done he killed the old scientist. In Kawaki's eyes, Boruto was too reckless to go against Code as he was clearly way more stronger than Jigen and could easily get the upper hand against Boruto. That's why Kawaki who had got his mysterious karma back from Amado days before he was killed started evacuating the shinobi nation starting off with his father figure Naruto. Boruto wanted Kawaki to form alliance with him to stop Code but Kawaki Kawaki wanted Boruto to stop acting vindictive upon Sasuke's death and look at the bigger picture. Boruto had faith while Kawaki was just looking for the fastest and the most reliable way to sort out this messed up situation. I think the battle of the Hokage mountain was the deciding fight between the Kama brothers to decide the one who could lead the fate of the shinobi world. Kawaki was determined to send Boruto to the new dimension while Boruto wanted to mend the things the way shinobi have been doing since ages. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out these videos as well. See you next time.